So my friend Cider over here figured out that Bloxburg is going to be having a huge update very soon. Basically, Bloxburg is going to be adding its very own UDC program. And yes, this is a Cider that we raided on a live stream, and he still hasn't paid me from that time. Now, without going into detail what the UGC program is, it's basically where if you get accepted into the program, you can upload models and items and people can buy them and wear them on their avatar. Now, UGC stands for user-generated content and what we believe is going to happen in Bloxburg is user-generated content. So if you go over to the Bloxburg Discord server and game reports, you will find this link to a welcome to Bloxburg unity slash rep. Now, once you have joined the server, you'll just see report exploiter, report bugs, bug reports, basically what the server has in its name. But this channel at the very top called Submit Assets, if you open it, you'll see it will give you a list of instructions on how to submit items. And this is basically a Bloxburg UGC program. So basically, say if this person just made a chair, you basically send it through to this bot and a admin or co-optus or froggy hop, someone will review it and might add it into Bloxburg. So who knows, say if you make a fart monster and you decide to submit it in the submissions assets, and you submit it into this server, it's possible that it could actually be added into Bloxburg. Now, I don't know why I said fart monster. I, I have no clue where that came from. Don't ask questions. Um, yeah. But here are the instructions. So, submit assets. Now, this is a bot. Just base It's a bot that you can add to your own server, but it won't work the same in this server as it will in your server, since Cooptus and Froggy Hops have clearly customized this bot, so it works for them. Do you just directly message the bot? So, that's just me going to send message and sending it a message like, I don't know, hi, how you doing? But we'll look at the instructions. You then have to upload the asset to the bots in DMs, so I think, I believe that's just a picture. I would probably send a picture and a actual asset or a model from in Roblox Studio. If you don't know what I'm on about, what a Roblox asset studio stuff, um, that's developer stuff, developer terms. If you don't know what that means, go Google it, go watch some YouTube videos if you're interested in it. Give us a brief description of your submission. So, for instance, that would be like saying chair or white wood chair. It just give it the basic description and what it is. And then you just click on the emoji that represents our server and your asset is submitted. So you just want to click on the emoji that will represent the server. So for this server, it will be two. So you just click the two button and then obviously if it's the main server you would just click the one now i'm not exactly sure how this will work i would dm the bot but but they do say misuse of this service will result in a removal from the server so i'm not even gonna bother trying anything there's no point i would prefer not to get removed from the server now no one's exactly 100 percent sure yet how this will work i'm guessing you'll just upload items and froggy hops will accept it this is very new so no one really has a clue if this will actually be in the game or a thing that will actually happen but our guesses are that it, yeah it's definitely going to happen more or less this is huge for the game this could mean more updates and bigger updates we could possibly get weekly updates with just tons of new items since Bloxburg has already pretty much gone into every single feature they've wanted at the moment they're just kind of adding more items which isn't a bad thing but it would be nice to get some actual new features but this basically allows the developers to focus on the features more rather than the items because having to make all these items people always want new items but they also want more features items is something that they can give to the community to create and make where features are harder because features can also make or break a game. So they have to be very careful on what features they add and what they do with them. It brings the community much closer to the developers and the development of the game. We start, we might start actually getting insights on how Bloxburg is made and put together and the process of actually making Bloxburg. 
So I am really excited for these things to actually be added. I can't wait to see items starting to come through made by the community. The Bloxburg community is amazing at building in the game. So let's see how good they are at building in studio. And I can already tell you they're already amazing at building in studio. I honestly really can't wait for this update. It's going to be such a big update. If you guys haven't already, please do like and subscribe. It would help me out a bunch. Obviously, go check out Cider's channel. I'll leave a card at the top of the screen right about now. Follow me on all my social medias. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Pizza Toes. Pizza toes.